Okay, we're going to a vegan potluck tonight and I made a lentil meatloaf. Not really meat though. So here we go. First time we've ever done this. How exciting. Welcome to Donna Cooking. And in this week's video, I'll be making a plant-based meatloaf. We were invited to go to a local restaurant called Go Wild Juicery and every month they hold a vegan potluck. So we're gonna go and all you have to do is take a dish to share. So um, before we go, I actually have to make the meatloaf and the base of it is lentils. Uh, you really need to give it a try and we all need to add more uh, plant-based meals into our weekly menu. So this is a good one for you to try. So come along with me and let's get cooking. Let's get this recipe started and mash up the lentils in a bowl and don't forget to leave that cup to the side and toast in a 350 oven for 10 minutes a cup of walnuts in some olive oil saute your garlic and onion now's a good time to add in some salt and then stir that on up I added a little cumin to this also now here's the rest of the ingredients you will be adding Go ahead and dump on in the celery. And don't forget to finely chop it and grate some carrots and a cup of carrots and a third of a cup of grated apple. And give that a nice stir. Ooh, it's looking good. And then an eighth of a cup of diced up red pe pepper. And it adds a nice little bit of color to your lentil loaf. After that's all sauteed, now you're gonna add finely chopped up slice of bread and chop up your walnuts. And there's your mashed lentils and the cup of whole lentils and the three tablespoons of ground flax and a half a cup of finely ground oat flour. Go ahead and just start adding in all these ingredients now. Now that everything's added, give it a good stir and mix everything really well together. Now I'm showing some seasonings next and please taste it when you've added everything and decide if you want to add more. I know that I usually like to add a little more cumin, so please adjust it to your taste. Now it's really important to line your loaf pan with parchment paper. Then take a fork and just press it on down really good so that your loaf holds together well when you turn it out of the pan. As you can see, it's all ready to go. And now I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the oven at 350 and bake it for an hour. And take it out, turn it upside down. You can top it with ketchup or barbecue sauce. Okay, we're going to a vegan potluck tonight and I made a lentil meat loaf not really meat though. So here we go. First time we've ever done this. How exciting. It's called Go Wild Juicery. Their sign isn't really lit up though. So my name is Kelly and we host the uh, uh, Fairbanks Vegan Potlucks once a month here at Go Wild Juicery. Uh, about the second or third weekend of the month. It's always on a Saturday around 5 p.m. And we invite anybody to come. You don't have to be vegan. You can be vegan curious or just interested in plant-based cooking and just bring at least one dish to share with everybody. We just kind of mingle and have a good time. And yeah. yeah. Awesome. It was really good tonight. Yay. Yay. Yeah, I'm glad you guys came. <laughs> oh, the lentil meatloaf. Yes, it is made out of lentils. I hope it'll cut okay. Oh, look, it's smooth. Very nice. 
What is this over here? Oh yeah. That looks great. That's good. What do we have here? Uh, this is uh, haggis. Ah. Oh wow. Yeah. So what are you thinking of the vegan potluck? It's very nice. Thanks for watching this week's video. If you'd like to see the recipe plus other ones I have, go ahead and go to my blog, Dawn of Cooking. And hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And let me know in the comment section more videos that you would like to see. So have a good weekend. Happy cooking.